Hello friends. Welcome to my new JPA, Hibernate Programming Tutorial Series video. In this tutorial, we will discuss about, how to implement component mapping by at the rate embedded annotation in Hibernate using JPA. Let's move ahead. Friends. Let's discuss component mapping. Component mapping is sort of, has a relationship in Java. Here, employee, has an address into it. In order to have an employee table in database having address embedded into it, we have to use at the rate embedded annotation. Here, address is a part of employee with no independent identity of its own. The address class is the component, the persistent component class requires no identifier property or identifier mapping. You map address as a value type and employee as an entity. Moving ahead. Persistence.xml file used in this example must have following properties, as mentioned in the slide. Friends, you can watch my complete video on Persistence.xml, in this tutorial we can skip explaining the Persistence.xml. Only property to mention is Hibernate.hbm2ddl.auto, having value as, create. This property signifies that, whenever we run application, it should delete previous schema and table, and create new table based on the persist method call. Moving ahead. Let's create an entity by name employee. Create a property in it by name employee name. In order to make employee entity have, address properties embedded into it. We will make address class as, has a relation property in employee. This address property will have at the rate embedded annotation over it. That is, address class will be sort of class holding embedded properties to employee. Moving ahead. Let's create a address class. This class must follow few points. Number 1, address class must be annotated by at the rate embeddable. This annotation tell Hibernate that, address class properties will be embedded into employee entity. Moving ahead. Address class has group of properties such as, street name and zip code. Moving ahead. Let's create test class for providing demo for component mapping using at the rate embedded. Let's discuss the code point by point. Number 1, create an employee instance having employee name as, John Smith. Moving ahead. Number 2, create an address instance having street name and zip code as, Park Street and 4110678. Moving ahead. Number 3, set the address created above in employee's address. Moving ahead. Number 4, let's call persist method of entity manager to persist employee instance. This will create a table employee in database, having street name and zip code columns embedded into it. Friends, for rest of code working you can refer my previous tutorials on JPA. Moving ahead. Let's check database for table employee and run a select query on it, as shown in figure. The image in slide displays the single row for employee entity, having address columns into it. Moving ahead. So friends, this was the tutorial on how to implement component mapping by at the rate embedded annotation in Hibernate using JPA. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, component mapping by at the rate embedded annotation concept in JPA gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.